Well, hello YouTube friend. What an honor it is for me not only to present you this video but to host this little gem coming directly from Japan uh, from uh, my friend and uh, excellentissime uh, knife maker and artist uh, before all, uh, Glenn Waters. You know Glenn, uh, I presented him already on a video. He's coming from uh, Australia and he lives, uh, oh hell, already. <laughs> I wanted to start to showcase this video without my fingerprints, but uh, it looks like uh, there's gonna be some. Uh, and uh, you know me, I don't redo videos. So I will leave it at that and you will see the fingerprint already. Uh, look at that. <laughs> it shows you the beauty and the perfection already of this uh, mirror polish uh, bevel. Uh, yes, an honor, absolute honor to own this piece. And thank you so much, Glenn, for letting me uh, having it, letting me, letting me, sorry, twisting uh, your shoulder enough for you to let that one go out of your pocket because this is the prototype of the Viper, a uh, very new uh, design from uh, Glenn. Actually, yes, the prototype that was the first. And he just made another one that he just released. Uh, and uh, what happened is that he presented that knife during uh, the Paris Blade Show. And I was just in awe of this uh, little design and, and, the, and the build itself, the material used. I'm going to talk about that, of course. And I tried to buy it from him. But he said, no, no, uh, 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 he considered that really to be a, a, a really special piece that he wanted to keep. And actually, uh, even his card now, uh, uh, that's his regular card, uh, uh, he uses uh, the Viper, the name of this uh, design, uh, uh, as the representation of his work. So, yeah, a special piece for him. So when he did the second one, he promised me that uh, I would uh, gonna get the second one. So, you know how I am. <laughs> I I tried my best uh, when he told me that the second one was available. Uh, I tried my best and I told him, oh yeah, okay, now uh, that the second one is available, can I have the first? Because it was not actually not the first, the same material. And I really, really, really wanted that one. And you will understand uh, very soon why, if not already. Uh, you know, oh, <laughs> let's clear that one out of, out of the room. Uh, what you have here, uh, uh, we're going to talk about the design, but the build in itself and the material used, this here is not... Uh, like a carved or milled material, this is simply a full Timascus scale. Yes, my friend, full Timascus scale with a finish uh, that I've never seen in my life. Never. I mean, he decided to let it uh, like with this kind of raw, uh, uh, untreated, it's not untreated actually, it's orange peel finish, as you can see. So a very resistant uh, finish for this Timascus. And this aspect, this gray aspect, that is to me blowing my mind because the the, the purpose most of the time of the Timascus is to get some nice coloring and everything. And uh, the downside of it is that you will get you know your fingerprints and everything. So yeah, you you have a way you know to get some matte finish on the Timascus. Uh, but actually, that right there is absolutely unique. I can say that probably I'm the only one in the world to <laughs> to own a, a knife in Timascus with an orange peel finish without any heat color. And that right there is really, really special for me because as I say, I like uniqueness. So this is one of two knives ever made uh, like that and the prototype actually, and probably one of the only knife in the world with a Timascus like that. I, I cannot imagine people using Timascus and deliberately uh, deciding not to heat color it because it, it has to, to, to go with your artistry and, and what you feel of it. You know what it is. I mean, for you, you know what it is. You don't need the color to remind you what it is. You know that those are layers of titanium and it's just a fantastic work of craftsmanship to, 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 to build a Timascus and you know what it is. You know, I know. I, I don't need the colors to remind me that. So, this to me right there, I have some Timascus, some regular Timascus. This right there is absolutely unique. That's why I really, really wanted to have that one. And I got it, which is to me, like I said, something that uh, uh, yeah is blowing my mind and the pure, pure pleasure and honor. So yeah, uh, one more time. Thank you so much, Glenn, uh, for to me 
that gift. That's a gift. To let me have, to let me buy it from you, uh, uh, is truly a gift for me. So, what we have here? We have something that uh, I appreciate uh, uh, above all uh, lately, is a knife made by an artist, an art knife maker, uh, and yet a tactical, uh, an, an EDC, because that's a pure EDC knife. Uh, it's, uh, that, that, that was the purpose of, of uh, Glenn. Uh, for those of you who don't know Glenn, I mean, check his work. He's all, always over the top. You have some, some engravings on the blade. Uh, um, I'm not talking about those en engravings that already are here, and that's, you know, it's a way to know that he's, uh, uh, I mean, he's doing, I'm sorry, a way to know. Uh, <laughs> it's so, some touches of him, but usually the engravings goes on the blade with some nice dragon, some, some I don't know, some mythical uh, uh, and epic, uh, you know, characters. Those are incredible and, and, and some incredible... I mean, just check his Instagram or, or um, his uh, Facebook or whatever, or his website, and you will see what I mean. It's always over the top and pure artistry. Too much for me, so I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Dude. I mean, the artistry is <laughs> also over the top, but for me, uh, it's something that I I'm not really into it. Uh, it's too much, too much for me. It's pure art knives. So how can I do to get an art knife from an art maker uh, that is such a talented man? Uh, well, I have to be lucky and wait for him to make some knives like that without too much uh, uh, of uh, uh, his artistical touch. So that's what I got with my first one. Uh, and already it had a lot of, you know, uh, uh, artistic feature. This one is just fantastic because it has the minimum uh, uh, of uh, artistical touch. Uh, and yet you can tell that it's an art, uh, an art uh, Nazi knife and a lot of EDC in it. So that's fantastic for me, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what I love, absolutely love. So yes, uh, I don't know, yeah, I, I've talked about Glenn, so it's pointless to, 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 to say it again. Like I said, it's an, it's an Australian guy, absolutely uh, uh, incredibly kind uh, person. I mean, every time he comes to Paris, I mean, every time, since like three years that, that he knows my daughter, every time he brings some cookies, some presents to my daughter. I mean, she considers him almost like Bob. I mean, when she goes to the French show, she wants to see Bob and, uh, um, and Glenn. Uh, every time it's like that. He's such a respectful guy. One time, you know, two years ago, my daughter made him just a drawing like that because she likes him. And he kept the drawing uh, in his uh, on his desk up until now. I mean, and he's just reminding me of that. So you see, that's the kind of person he is. I absolutely adore him. Uh, he's yeah, like I said, the, he he's got the classy part of the Australian and uh, the the even more classy uh, part of the Japanese person. Because he lives there and he's married to a Japanese woman, so for thirty years, so yeah, he's uh, mostly <laughs> half Japanese, half Australian for sure, for sure. So you have that also in his art, of course. I mean, everything is engraved in the Japanese. So you see, it's this is not Japanese, but this is Japanese. I have no clue what it is. I didn't have the chance to ask him, but uh, it it has everything that he's engraving is a part of his journey. Uh, in um, uh, in Japan, I think that it's the sign of the home. Okay, uh, yeah, everything is a part of, and this is uh, has to be probably his uh, his logo. But uh, uh, this I don't know. I, I will I'll ask him and I'll let you know. So yeah, the Viper is a perfect. Look at that. I mean, it's a tiny little knife. Look at that. Uh, the blade is not even two and a half, maybe two inch long. No more than that. Yeah, two. I would say two. The blade is really small. Look at that. It, it's, I mean, it dis disappears in the end. Look at that. Uh, and to get to open it, you have to flick it with the thumb. But you can flick it with every finger. Look at that. I mean, with the fourth, you see, with the the best way for me is with the second. You know, you hold it like that and boom, it fires like a rocket. Uh, I don't know why Glenn called him a flipper. It has, <laughs> it's absolutely no flipper. It's a dual thumb stud. 
and look at those big thumbsters. You cannot miss <laughs> an opening with those uh, thumbsters. They're just incredible. And the design that you have here also on the pivot uh, is a kind of whale, uh, uh, family whale, something like that. He explained me that in, uh, during the fix. I thought he, he was looking like a shuriken, you know. <laughs> Him coming from Japan, I thought that those were looking like a shuriken, but actually it's a whale. Uh, and it's beautiful. I have to get back to him to know exactly what kind of whale or whatever. Uh, yeah, I have to do that. So yeah, full Timascus. Look at that. I don't know why, but he, he, he also added an overlay of Timascus, like a color around the pivot. Beautiful. And this nice orange peel finish on the pivot. I cannot say for sure if that is Timascus. I'm not sure. I, I would say that, I would argue that those like the thumb stud, like the backspacer, are simply titanium. The clip is Timascus for sure. Very, very nicely done. Now the blade. The blade is, I mean, a, a poetry. You have these flat in satin that are just looking phenomenal, you know, hand wrapped satin, and this mirror polish. Look at that. I, I want to see some reflection so you can see because since it's a really highly uh, uh, hollowed, it's very difficult to see a reflection, but you see. The, it's a pure, pure, pure mirror polish. Oh, come on. Let me see. You see the, 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 the camera, the lens of the camera? It's really, really highly, highly, highly polished. It's difficult because you have the marks of my fingers, but believe me, that's a pure mirror polish, just extraordinarily done. And the, the uh, come on, the grind is just fantastic. It's just fantastically looking. Look at that. It's just just phenomenal. And yeah, a hollow grind here, a hollow grind on the swedge, very nice hand rub flat. And I absolutely adore those uh, um, bold uh, thumb stud. And the, the kind of spacer in bronze that you have here brings an artsy touch that I absolutely adore. Look at that. He went for a finish on, on the edges here of the blade that is uh, orange peel, you know, to go with the the finish of the edges here on the scale. Very nice. So yeah, a thumb stud. The engagement is a little bit early. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, the lock is maybe not a vault, but it's it's okay. I mean, again, it's an art knife. And it's, and, and it's also an EDC, something that you can carry for sure. Uh, it's a little bit weak on the, on the, um, on the lock, but it's secure. That's fine. Uh, over travel stop here. Very nice. And yes, the knife is a pure EDC for sure. Look at that. Perfect centering. You heard the detent. It's a very nice detent. Look at that. Boom. Doesn't open by accident, by no means. So that's, look at that, look at the contouring that you have on the scale. Very nice. I mean, here only, here it's simple square edge. But I love the design of it. I mean, artistically speaking, look at that. What a beauty. It's, it's, it's a piece of art. That's just what can I say. It's a pure art piece. Um, I will probably leave it at that. Uh, I am extremely, extremely, extremely happy. I hope that I conveyed you, if anything, uh, it has to be an erratic video as usual, but I hope that I, I brought to you the passion that I have for that knife and hopefully uh, the envy for you to check uh, Glenn work and maybe get a knife uh, from him because uh, I mean that would be the best <laughs> invested money that you would get because like I said you have so many makers now uh, coming from you know nowhere making some knives like that getting trendy because of the social media this is a maker that is making knife for ages for ages that has a very old tradition in making knives uh, and uh, he's becoming more available for the masses for us because he's making knives that are more EDC. Look at that. I mean, the clip is just a perfect clip. Uh, I, and, and something that I forgot to mention, but the, 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 the fact that you have this orange peel finish with this Timascus uh, it makes that knife a 
a pure knife to carry. I mean, it's an, it's an art knife. You have a very dressy material on it, you know, and that's a knife that you can carry. And not only because of the finish of the Time Masks, but also because of the blade. Even though it's uh, very mirror polish like that, it's super gold. I forgot to mention, super gold is an extraordinary metal uh, uh, with a very nice edge retention, very nice. I mean, it's 62 in the Rockwell um, scale, so you can definitely use that knife for EDC and definitely carry it. And with that being said, my friend, we are heading to the 50 minutes and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much again, Glade, and thank you so much for you to watch my videos. I'll uh, catch you very soon for another one. Bye-bye.